Ivy League. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening with the millions? And millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world. J Rock is here, and he is here to give his review on The Last of Us Part 2. No rhyme intended on that line. So J-Rock just finished playing the game, and might I say this game was dark, beautiful, filled with revenge and hope at the same time. There were parts of the game that would have made you angry, sad, joyful. Uh, there was some, oh my God, it was definitely a bunch of OMG moments in that game. But um, yeah. That game is incredible. Jerrock has heard of all the the, 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 the Rudy Pooh reviews and everybody's crying. Well, she said, yeah, why did they kill Joe? I can't believe they killed Joe. Why did they kill Joe? Joe, no, Joe. Joe had to die. I just look at it as Joe sacrificed himself. When he went and got Ellie out that hospital and he killed Abby's dad, who was a doctor operating on uh, Ellie. Yeah, J Joel wrote a check that the rest of his anatomy could not cash. At least not in this instance. Now, J-Rock says this. I can understand from Abby's point of view why she would want to get her revenge on Joel. He killed the father. That nigga killed my father! <laughs> Now, you put your hands on J-Rock's dad. Oh, I don't give a damn if you got the cure for the for the Rona, for the AIDS, or for whatever disease out there. J-Rock has to lay the smack down on that ass. Rest assured. And so, I understand from Abby's point of view. Now, it was weird, I don't, I'm not going to lie, playing with her, but as the story progressed, to J-Rock, her story was a little bit more exciting than Ellie's playthrough. Not much, but a little bit more. I mean, she had flamethrowers, she had pipe bombs. Um, did she have a, uh, an assault rifle? I can't remember. I think she did. And so that was just the storytelling. And you got to meet Lev and um, the other girl. Uh, his sister, uh, what, what, what was her name? It doesn't matter what her name was! Yeah, exactly. But the fact of the matter remains is that this game Do you smell definitely, in J-Rock's opinion, is a candidate for game of the year. Has to be. You don't break records like that, get all the high scores, even with the Metacritic score, which J-Rock could give three drops of monkey crap about anyway and not be at least a candidate for game of the year. Now, whether or not it wins, that's a whole nother story. J-Rock says it always will be a candidate for game of the year. And if it does win, if The Last of Us pulls it off, I can only imagine the type of verbal rioting that will take place all over social media. People are gonna be ticked off to the up degree. Now, some folks say they don't think that the leaks hurt the sales. J-Rock don't believe that. I think it did hurt sales. Considering the fact that it did what it did, J-Rock said you probably could have sold another two or three more million the first week. Now, I think the outcry and the anger would have been a lot more venomous, but nonetheless, still broke records in spite of it. J-Rock loved the new gameplay. He loved... Uh, the fact that, you know, you could dodge. The graphics were incredible. Um, you know, the, there was a boss fight with this big rat infested looking thing. And it was just nasty to look at. You know, the, 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 the clickers always made the people's skin crawl. And so you got to take those down. They had some new clickers called stalkers. You know, that would, you know, if you, didn't, if you couldn't catch them, they'd jump out from anywhere and attack you. And then you... Unless you shot them, if you got into a melee combat, you know, they could they could counter you, and you, you have to counter them, and it was this whole back and forth, with, which was kind of cool. Um, 
when you shot the guns, it actually felt like you were shooting a gun. You know, those guns had a lot of kick to them, and they felt like you were shooting a gun. j Rock can only imagine what the, what is it, the haptic feedback for the PS5 controller is going to feel like uh, when that happens. So, j Rock can't wait to uh, get his hands on that. There was, uh, what other gameplay? You could go prone, you could shoot on your back. that was anyway you could go on the and shoot on the people's back um, you you had to take out dogs which I'm sure uh, Peter ain't too happy about but anyway the fact of the matter is that this game was incredible storyline was well written if I if I do say so myself now it wasn't perfect j rocks not gonna sit there and say it was perfect but it was well written there was a lot of thought put into this Hey, hey, you don't think that they knew that this was going to tick people off when Joel got killed? You don't think they heard the cry, the cries and the cravings from all of the people, how much they wanted The Last of Us Part Two, And you don't think they knew, no rhyme and tune on that line, that killing Joel would set off this firestorm of emotions all over the gaming community in a, such a way that I don't think it has ever done in the gaming community before. And J-Rock has been a gamer for a long time. But they knew that they did it anyway. And not only did they kill off Joel, they made you play with the woman who did it. Carrying on the story. Now, J Rock thinks the next Last of Us Part 3 should be a sequel mixed with a prequel. Stay with me for a second. I think you need to find out what happened to Ellie after she left the farm at the end of the game. All right, seeing as how Dinah had left, or Dina, or whatever her name is, how she left, and Ellie, you just, you know, the camera just sees her walking off, assuming she's going back to Jackson. Uh, that's only an assumption, though. And, um, need to figure out what happened there. But, we need to figure out exactly what happened. At the beginning, after the beginning of The Last of Us 2, there was a 20-year period from when Sarah got killed and the time that Joel met up with, with Tess and you know, this whole thing kicked off. So there was a time that we need to know exactly what happened. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of more heartbreak and loss in that story too. I think they need to finish it off right. I'm not saying it has to be a happy ending, but it needs to be finished off right. And this game and this story really wasn't all about happy endings. It was about introducing you to a world filled with no good guys and no bad guys, but survivors. And considering the fact that people will do anything to survive, uh, especially when you kill their dad, you'll smell what J-Rock is cooking. Now, J-Rock says this to end this. For those of you out there, J-Rock heard that some of you were upset and angry and even went so far to call my man named Tyrone Magnus a bigot because he was not attracted to Abby. Hmm. Really? Are you saying that because you think he doesn't like white women? Or were you saying that because he just was not attracted to her at all? Regardless as to why you say it, calling him a bigot because he was not attracted to Abby you have to be the biggest piece of trailer park trash walking God's green earth. Look, J-Rock says this. The, the, the real life lady, whatever her name was. It doesn't matter what her name was. A model for Abby. She don't look half bad. All right. But for some odd reason, the transfer over to the, to, to, to the Last of Us Part 2 she looked like Brock Lesnar's twin sister. She really did. And she had man hands. Her hands looked like the hands of a man. J-Rock don't want that, nothing to do with that. She gets her hands on J-Rock. You dumb sure know strong as she was. Her arms were as big as my legs. One guy in the game that was talking to Ellie is like her arms are as big as mine. Yeah, big arms. She was working out. Because she just had to get prepared for the day she got back in touch with Joel. 
And, uh, yeah. But the fact of the matter remains is that for you to call that man a bigot, you must be in high school or something. You have to go back and look up what the word bigot means. That probably was the worst description of them. I'm sorry, I'm telling you. But, anyway, shout out to Tyrone Magnus, beautiful uh, woman Scarlo, which is another reason why, why in the hell would he be attracted to Abby? The man has Scarlo. Have you seen her? Have you? There would be no reason for him to have eyes for a virtual woman at all. If you'll smell what J-Rock is cooking. But, I'll digress and leave that alone. Tyrone can handle his own business. But at the end of the day, J-Rock was really impressed with this game. Really thought the game was good. Um, J-Rock would say he would give this game... There was one thing I thought was missing before I give my, 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 my grade. With the, with the fact of, of the matter is that Ellie and, 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 and um, Abby were traveling through the woods. Even in time we're doing a flashback. You would think, where are all the infected animals? You know, some wolves, some infected wolves. You know, maybe some infected monkeys or gorillas or something. Because you have to know, in a world like that, the zoo probably just got overrun, right? Or, you know, animals got out, I should say. And, you know, I'm just wondering, how would they have gotten infected? Mm, maybe they got bit by an infected and it infected them. Or maybe animals couldn't be infected. I don't know. But I always thought what a, what a twist that would be. You're, you know, walking through the woods trying to avoid clickers or runners. And damn, I had come out of the bushes. This damn wolf is coming after you. Much, te much, much more tension to the game. Um, but be that as it may, it still was a great game in J Rock's opinion. So J Rock will give this game five YouTube people's eyebrows. Five of them. Now that's how good it was. Five out of five, baby. Because they were not afraid to push the story along and to push boundaries in such a way I don't remember any game ever doing. Yeah, it ticked a lot of people off, but they'll get over it. The game was good, and Jerrock appreciates the cojones it took to make that type of story. Even though you knew this game was not going to be well received at least from the storyline part of it because let's just be real that's the only reason people didn't like the story because joel died it wasn't so much that you had to play with abby because if abby ends up getting killed in the end by joel or ellie he will be this angry no so it wasn't so much that you had to play with abby it was just the fact that joel got killed and she was the one that did it and then you had to play as her outside of that I think the game was pretty well written. Again, not perfect, but damn sure well written. But J-Rock wants to know from you, so post your comments down below. What you thought of this game? What was your opinion on it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What's your favorite parts of it? Uh, let me know in the comment section, right? Make sure you go check out your boy out over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash J-Rock the Great One. Streaming on Tuesday and Sunday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. With Doom Eternal and Final Fantasy VII Remake. First Final, Final Fantasy game I'm playing. And uh, so far, so good. I'm really liking that one. Enjoying that one. Also, put any video requests you got over the People's Facebook fan page. Alright? Lastly, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time, baby, to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Till we meet again. Mamba and GG forever. If you smell what J-Rock is cooking.